In this lesson, we'll talk about the D major scale shape in the open position. Now we have our trusty open D chord right there. Now in figure one, you'll see the D major scale. And in the open position of, with the open D, we have an open position D major scale we can play, and that's figure one. Now the notes that make up this D major scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then back to D, which is our octave, and then the tab in figure one, that octave is in parenthesis. In uh, figure two, you'll see the extended major scale, and that's just all the other uh, occurrences of those seven notes on the other strings um, and it's just an extended version of the major scale that we can use to pull from when we're playing. So here's how you would play it. Figure two. Now in figure three, you'll see the D pentatonic. Um, the D pentatonic is the same thing as the major scale, except uh, without the fourth and seventh scale steps. In the case of D major, the G note is the fourth scale step, and the C sharp is the seventh. But for the D pentatonic, we don't play those two notes. Now in figure four you can see a uh, comparison between the major and the pentatonic. Um, you'll see the G note right there on the third fret omitted or in parenthesis. The, the notes in the parenthesis to show you the ones that we omit for the uh, pentatonic. So there's your fourth which is your G. We don't play that one for the pentatonic. There's our C sharp right there on the fourth fret of the A. And then there's another G, our open G. Another C sharp right there on the second fret. And then again, our G. But, uh... Now, we would use the G major scale for melody and constructing chords and things like that. And if we wanted just to jam and add feels to our progressions, uh, the pentatonic would, of course, be your uh, choice there. And that's all for this lesson, and we'll see you in the next one.